What's up guys, in this video we're going to be adding a trail to a sword in Roblox Studio. Trails on swords look absolutely fantastic and I think they make any game with swords infinitely better. So let's go ahead and get right into that. In order to start, you can either make a sword or we can go into the toolbox and grab one. Unfortunately, at the moment, I do not have a sword, so I'm going to be using the toolbox for this. Inside the toolbox, I'm going to be searching for a sword. Any type of sword will work. I'm going to just pick this Minecraft diamond sword because that's pretty funny. If you see a window like this that includes several scripts, if it includes any more than what's reasonable, it might have a virus in it and I would not recommend adding it to your game. Anyways, I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to choose not to put the tool into the starter pack and now we can X out of the toolbox. So now we've got our Minecraft Diamond Sword right here. We can open up the handle of our sword, which should be the actual sword itself. Now here's where we get to add some attachments for our trail. So we're going to click on the plus icon to the right of the handle, and then I'm going to search for attachment, just like this. Now that we've got our attachment, you should see show up right about on the blade. And honestly, this is about perfect to where I want it to be, so I'm going to keep it there. However, if you do want it to move, you can open up your move tool right here and then you can move this attachment around however i think this is a perfect placement i think i'm going to leave it there now if you do put it a little lower such as right where the blade starts it could overlap the handle and doesn't look as nice as when it's just right above the handle so i'd recommend right here now we can duplicate this attachment by pressing ctrl and d and now we can move it up to the top of our sword just like this and just like that is right on the tip of the sword now and that is perfect now i'd recommend giving a unique name for your attachment so we can keep them apart from each other i'm going to say top attachment and for the bottom attachment i'm going to call it bottom attachment so now we've got our bottom and top attachment we can go into the handle once again and we can click on the plus icon to the right of that and add in a trail now we've got our trail inside of our sword this is where we can customize it i always prefer to have the lifetime on about a 0.1 for a sword because that's about perfect you can mess around with the width scale the minimum length and the maximum length if you'd like to you can also mess around with the transparency and the color if you would like to make a gradient trail you can click on the color right here and then go over to the three dots on the right and you can make a gradient by selecting these little pieces and changing the color of these parts right here just like that and you can even add new little points if you click on the gradient thing itself so I think this is my trail for this sword. Now all we have to do is go down to where it says attachment 0 and attachment 1. Put attachment 0 onto the bottom attachment and attachment 1 onto the top attachment. And now all we have to do is close off the handle, close the Minecraft diamond sword, and put this into the starter pack so that we spawn with the sword. Now we can close workspace, close starter pack, and click on play. As you can see, I spawn with the Minecraft diamond sword. And as you can see, when I walk around with it, there is a trail floating right behind it. I can swing it as you can see and the trail will follow it. So this is just a very simple tutorial on how to add a trail to your sword. I think it's pretty cool so make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.